You're listening to the Saturday Night Gaming Podcast, Convergence, run by our head GM, Scott Hibbard. Hope you enjoy. Thank you for joining us once again for another exciting episode of Convergence, presented by Saturday Night Gaming. Yeah. Woo! Excitement! Yeah! yeah. yeah. That's better. Right. It's 11.25 p.m. That's after 12 Eastern time? Yes. So let's do this thing. <laughs> yes. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. Let's go, guys. Yes. <laughs> That's the reason I'm not drinking yet. It is five o'clock late in England, sir. Midnight is our new afternoon. It might be nine o'clock on a Saturday. <laughs> True. All right, let's go ahead and go around here to introduce ourselves and our character that we decided to bring along for the Temple of Unpleasantness. Oh. I don't know how I would bring any character other than Ari. Like, to get all the way through this campaign with Ari and then, like, get to the, the, the place where the Great Mysterious Artifact is and be like, okay, good luck! See you later! Right. <sighs> Just kick him out the door. Great I'm sure he'll teleport artifact. back soon. I'm looking at similar things. We could go with Temple of Downfall, Ruination, <laughs> Disaster, Extinction, Catastrophe. The Temple of Nuts. The temple of... What about these synonyms? Death and termination. Uh, the temple of termination. What about... Coitus? Coitus? <laughs> temple of coitus. The temple of coitus? Oh, my. Are there panties? Well, what? Then. <laughs> That's where the panties come from. <laughs> I mean, pennies. I said oh, pennies. Yeah. <laughs> Explains the moisture. Oh, the oh yeah, my god. That's <laughs> oh. <laughs> why it's moist. Oh, that's horrible. Alright, moving on. Anyway. Who's next? I mean... Yeah, I don't think we haven't even started. Yeah. We haven't started at all. No. no. We haven't. You got I, one character. Go for it. <laughs> I am Chrissy. I'm bringing along Red since that's the only character I brought along on yes. this journey. Um, she is checking out this temple of uncertain doom. Yeah, right. <laughs> temple of uncertainty. <laughs> um, maybe she'll find some treasures. Who knows? I am Laura, and I'm playing Sky Captain Ari, the captain of the ship. Yes. It's all. I am Quinn, and I am playing Soul. He is also along on this adventure to the temple of... Uh, insert name here. Uh, my name's Chuck. I'll be playing um, Heavy Metal, who, or Dark Metal, or Dark Heavy Metal, or whatever you want to call him. Just don't call him late for dinner. And um, I'm following them. Actually, I'm leading them. Next! Um, Casey, and I'm bringing on uh, Asami. The Kitsune. I'm Ronnie. I'm bringing Grabnar the Grim. Things are about to get fiery. Yeah, they are. I'm Tony. I will be playing. Big shot guy, Thomas Maiko. Running into the dark, no door, just shadows, slow ramp down. Might get lost. I'm Jessica, I'm playing Jen. Um, I'm running after him, I guess. It smells like death or something. It smells like copper pieces. 
I'm not even gonna say the word anymore. You're not gonna live this down on your tombstone. It smells like pennies. I'm just gonna. It's gonna be one word on my tombstone. Pennies. <laughs> That's it. But then a tree falls down and kind of scrubs like one part of the the word, and it's just like P N S. Okay, what is it? That would be fake. Grandpa, what was Grandma trying to say? Panties? I guess I don't know. No, it's gonna be like a quote. It's gonna say. I said pennies. <laughs> but it'll just say, I said P scrub S. There's just gonna be like a whole bunch of guesswork. It's just like that a bunch of bad strips. It's gonna be redacted. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, if I'm dead, you can tell the story however you want. <laughs> you guys all heard it. I'm not, I'm not going to be here to Scott stop you. Scott will be buried you. like right next to it. And his tombstone will say, that's not what I heard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. That's a, you're just going to have a plot in the group. Whoever dies in what <laughs> order, you get to decide the next <laughs> quote <laughs> in the conversation. Third or two. <laughs> Oh, Fedor to. We'll see how much ice cream we can serve in here. I'm almost out. Uh, what? I'm just joking. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he had me scared there for a second. I just assumed he had like a little portal to a pocket dimension that's just ice cream. And he just kind of reaches it. Pocket dimension of ice cream. Ice yes. cream world. There's like little house elves or something in his pocket he's, dimension. He's got the ice cream. Elves inside of him. <laughs> That's what his nail books are. They're little Keebler elves. Yeah, they do make it. It's the main machine. They make little fudge yeah. stripe cookies too. Now, see, I was picturing something a little bit more horrifying. I was like ice cream people. He was just scooping. What? It's like the Twinkie people. Like snowmen? Oh, no, I'm thinking of. All right. Well, you guys have arrived at the Temple of Disaster. As you go through this tunnel. The Temple of... So it is a tunnel. No door. Right. The Tunnel of Terror. The tunnel of Terror. I like that. The Temple of Terror. I love it. Does Thank it you, McClay. Like anything other than old money? It smells like pennies. Pennies. It's stale air, very humid. <laughs> moist pennies. Moist pennies. <laughs> yes, moist and stale, and you see moss covering the walls. Tree roots as well, dead vines, and to top it off, we we'll killed those vines. Skulls. I don't want to know. Ooh, ooh, skulls set it on fire. What type of creature? They look humanoid. Humanoid. Are they recent skulls or very old ones? Ah, uh, they're been here for a while. They're kind of overgrown as well. They're skulls. Do they have any like identifying like special features like? fangs or like you see various ones actually you yeah. see some that do look like they have fangs others that look like that maybe they had a uh, horns or something mm. you know um in their skull so you see various Zippo, like, I have a collector torch. of sorts oh Zippo, man oh, we'll set it on fire i create a, a small flame in my hand okay kind of like in the passage mm. The path is oh, you good, the, good that the moisture, whatever it is, is not flammable. Yeah, there's no moisture. Right? We learned there. that immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we would have the moment I stepped in. Yeah. I mean, I'm fire resistant. I, I am fire resistant too, fortunately. Should I have armor for that. Mm. Well, the fire will. Should everyone have gotten fire resistant before we came down here? Or? No, we could. Uh, Shade it all on fire. Burn, the, burn away the scrub. Set on fire. I don't know who you are, but that sounds like a great idea. I give a uh -oh. big toothy smile. Yes. I'm gonna try to set fire to the mossy overgrowth. All right. Why? Let's roll and see what happens. What if there's no written on the wall? 
Don't know. Can I assist? Yeah. With, yeah, sure. You set fire to the other it one. Just makes, it just makes it a little bit easier for me. Tens, what you need, sir. Yeah. Mm hmm. I'm trying to think what that would go off for him. Let's see. Because runes not really. What did you? What were you doing for runes? For uh, magic. Uh, well, and violence and sorcerer. Spell technically casting, which in this would class. be if you have a skill <clears throat> set for it. You know, I built him just as like an elemental barbarian. Thing. It's got to be done. Did mm. you put down a skill rune casting? Mm-hmm. Or runes? So he's not a caster then. I mean, like um. No. Uh, he would have exploits then, thing. probably. Mm. I don't know where my folder went. I'll use my hammer. But like Ari, my, my hammer can uh, ignite. Like so Ari is a bi- barbarian, but she has exploits that allow her to okay. use her blood magic. If that's correct. Kind of thing. Yeah. Um. Well, his hammer is kind of basically enchanted, so I'll just drag. The hammer yeah, it's along enchanted it. with flames or whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Strikes. Yeah, I got you. Like uh, the basically lightly tap the. Yeah. It's like Violet's umbrella. Because you don't want to smash through the wall. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Alright. Also, I've never been casting these Does Jen know anything about runes and rune casting? Jen's not from Bella. Okay. Jen's from yeah. Tenebris. Mm-hmm. Remy and Adine. Well, Remy. He's not here. He's on the ship. He's second in charge. I'm trying to see if anybody else would end up recognizing anything about runes other than Ari. Oh, I can recognize I runes. Do. I can read all sorts of languages. Well, the fox. She has. I type don't say runes. this out loud, though. Right, but not the specific, like, Velocian runes. Uh, I don't mm. know. Okay. They're... Yeah. All right. Do it. I didn't say anything out loud. Oh. <laughs> all right, so, anyways, Ari, you would recognize this then. Mm-hmm. Uh, that basically, when he uses his hammer, you can see that it. Uh, Basically, a room flashes on it uh, briefly, like red glow, and then he creates a small little flame that basically hits the moss and starts traveling, and clearing it. Cool. Pretty. Look at the fire. Mm-hmm. But. Is there anything on the wall? Maybe pictures, pictographs, hieroglyphs. More runes. A big arrow. An X that marks the spot. Mm-hmm. Neon sign, Jesus. No, that was the last uh, game. Let's see. Are there any pictures of fedoras? <laughs> That's what we're going to find. You could Hyrule make one, Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was so carving a fedora. Into... <laughs> it's like an ancient deity, but instead of like a bird head, it's kind of a fedora. <laughs> it's a giant fedora. <laughs> <laughs> He's nice. succeeding going through time. <laughs> we succeeded. We win. Uh, no, you do not. You do not see any kind of scripture or anything like that. You just see but more of, uh, they see more clearly <laughs> what you're already seeing, which is just basically the, this hallway is, uh, or tunnel is decorated with skulls inside the walls. Gotcha. And they appear to be actual skulls, too, like not, you know, stone that's been shaped in the shape of a skull. It's actually skulls embedded into the rock. Huh. None of them look fresh, though. Nothing that's like mm-hmm. an actual decapitated head waiting to be a skull. So is it like a wall made out of skulls, or is it like a stone well, wall do do? with some skulls first? here and there? Yeah, it's it's a, exactly it's a I stone see. tunnel wall, mm-hmm. and well, then it just okay. every so many it has a skull like decoration built into Wait, the wall. Oh, that's nice. Just a head. Mm-hmm. So it's like a, uh, but they don't ahead. look to be like haphazardly put in there. Like they were just like, I want this. They didn't like <laughs> it's decorative. Yes. Yeah, it's decorative. They didn't right. have here, like yes. right. Yeah. <laughs> or they may have. Who knows? Design choice. Well, they were booby traps that killed them or something. Oh no, 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 no. This they, they were placed there on purpose. Uh, nice. as decoration. So. Well, there's nothing to intimidate or brawl, so I'm going to keep on running. Unless I'm I intimidate one of these skulls and they're telling me what happened. I could try that. <laughs> I have, you know, unburied a grave before by intimidating it, I think. You know what? I had a thought to have all run by you. Yeah? So, like, in my mind, it takes a lot of power for a 4-2 to travel through time, right? Correct. So, this 4-2 can't travel through time, and, and he can't, like, you know... Like, what I was thinking is, 
Could he send one tiny nanobot through time back to when the skull was alive and then see what happened to him? <laughs> you okay over there, Shark? I was just hearing this robot's planet. And it's fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, then I'll what if it gets really cold? My overclock can send back a nano ball <laughs> to the beginning of this this skull's demise. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's fascinating. And then I'll know how he died. What would happen? <laughs> uh, so you want to send That's a like nano bot back in time? Yeah, it takes less power, I assume. Well, yeah, but that, also you would have to send it. Back far enough to where this skull, like, you need to know, like, the actual point to, of time. Yeah, yeah. We send it back to, so can, we, can I, like, do some investigation, like, on the skull to see when this skull was, you know, died? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Fedora 2 about to do carbon dating. <laughs> yes. He's going to carbon date the skull, find out the cause of death, send back the, the nano. The problem is he doesn't have any, you don't have anything to reference it off of, though, here. So, yeah, you won't be able to actually make oh, that check. What? It's yeah. just carbon dating. Come I'm on. Sorry, when you're not the GM that has to answer that question, it's it's really big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you won't be able to. Can I just randomly send it back in time to see what happens? <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's uh, still there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he walks back into it and it Do says, "You need a die." He's very stubborn here. Do you want me to roll it all? Yeah, give him this. Yeah. Let's see what happens. He's going to walk and be like... 20. 8. 28? It's nope. just an 8. Just an 8. Just an 8. Well, let's roll again. Come on. 28 on 20. Yeah, see if you get 28 next time. He wants to use his favorite to roll. Do you want to use your chip for that? Yeah, I'll give it a 20. Oh, are you sure? Well, you let me do it if I get a 20. Um, I'll let you attempt it. I'll let you attempt. Right. If you said yes... <laughs> I mean, even if I get a 20, yeah, if the GM might not says, "Are you sure?" Maybe what he's saying that. <laughs> 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 the random nanobot. Okay, if you say so. I see you have. Yeah. I'm not saying he's gonna let you try. Okay, we, we had this conversation earlier tonight. Yeah. It's a three. That is not. That is worse. That's <laughs> whoo! That in a box took a wrong turn, Albuquerque. No, you said you would get a 20. Don't play it on me, the dice. Look, the dice give it, and the dice. I didn't. You're the one who gave that. Somewhere he sent his nanobot back to the uh, dinosaur age. There's just a like a T Rex walking around with his little itty bitty arms, and all of a sudden, like, it just implodes in his face. And he just changed time. Yeah, that's it. Butterfly effect. It's the nanobot effect. We're living. Thunder, you see a T-Rex now with huge arms. Yeah. Oh no! It can fight yes. back. I got big beefy arms now. Who wants a hug? Oh no! It's oh, He's it's a, a dino robot. Four two. He's got like one four two arms around the back of his head with a little fedora on top. That's a good idea. It's It's a fedora. Well, it's like no. But yeah, it was a good attempt. It's like with the bowler hat guy where you put the bowler hat. I mean, you did send it back in time, not to the spot where you wanted it to go. Oh, where is it? He's trapping. He said it was with the dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah. Is it with the dinosaurs? Yes. He grew an extra arm for a T Rex. So this planet used to be Earth. I just want you guys to know. No, we just used to have dinosaurs. Oh, wait, what? No. Yeah. What if the dinosaurs just originated here? This was the original. So either this planet used to be Earth or the dinosaurs came from this planet. I feel like I've yeah. learned something. Whichever is more likely. <laughs> so you guys make it to a clearing. Not saying aliens. The rotten halls. Oh no. So Wait, that's does, trademark. Though. Don't say that. I don't actually know. Wait, which which halls are halls are rotten. With the halls of rot. Are we in the halls of W R O G H? Yeah, right. I was about to say it's the, the rotten holes. It's rot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's been All fun. right. Yeah. So basically, I just put a map here, just initials here. No. Um, oh, we're at the initials. Like that's where we're standing. Well, I mean, not really. It's just this is the area right here. 
So we're not in those tunnels. We're just in that yeah. big clearing. You're just in this big clearing right here. I just kind of place people there, but pretty much you guys are in this area right here where it's one. I do not want to go down the hallway that just has dead end hallways. Do we know that it's a dead end? <laughs> so I can see it from here. What if it's a door? We have a map. Wait, which one are you talking about? Which one the one to the right? The one with the four doors on each side. I don't want to go there. Yeah, that looks dumb. But there's an S at the end, was it not? Super surprise. Well, do we want that super surprise? Maybe. Here's shark! It's the sharkening. I thought you we were looking for the unsharkening. Well, first you have to find the sharkening to understand the unsharkening. It's like <laughs> math, but backwards. This is the true like enlightenment. The true That's how this character ends. He just gets some beads and starts meditating on it. <laughs> Therefore, you get the yeah, beads. The from. beads? <laughs> <laughs> it's very dangerous. There's one specific bead. Put them on the end of a scepter. It's the beads of demoralization. So, oh, there you go. Where are you to kind of have you guys see this here? So, when a tunnel took you, these are cliff edges right here. Okay. So, you have a cliff right above you. Oh. So, this is big. Like, we're in a big place. Yes. We're teeny tiny. Teeny tiny. No, it's not, not tiny at all. Each one of those squares is five feet square. So each one of those little offshoot places could be like a whole house. I can't actually no, see No, they're not that big. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like you don't need to no, each, each, each square is five feet. That's what it says down there. So it's five feet by five feet in one square? Yeah. Okay. So those are actually really small rooms. Well... Depends on your perception of that, yeah. If you were that nanobot that you sent back, those would be huge. Rooms. That'd be true. Does anybody have the ability? Does anybody have the ability to see what's going on here? Wait, the nanobot could be here now. It could. Can it tell you what's going on? Because <laughs> I, it could tell I really have a hard time perceiving what's going on. It could on tell us the here. whole history of this planet. Because it's been here since the age of the dinosaurs. I could roll perception. I just don't see that going well. I'm going to try and find my nanobot. I can try perception. I have perception and investigation. Let's try it. I got that too. You can investigate. Everybody investigate. Investigate. Uh, if you guys want to make perception and investigation, go for it. Yeah. I think the ones capable of doing so should. This is if there's ever anything this that shows up to beat you up, I will muster this. Really so tell me specifically here. Well, who... that's not going to go for me. I got a uh, one. Uh, what, <laughs> what areas are we actually uh, investigating? Exactly. A little more specific. Here. That's what I was kind of There's a hallway to the right. We got a 16 on my perception, Scott. I'm looking are for my nanobot. Are we or are we investigating? I was do you, investigating. Do you want to roll a perception check? Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, thank you. Um, Perceive. Uh, what is that? Hmm? That's a 19. Have, you roll a d20 and you yeah, add that bonus. So it's just a one. I don't know. Mm -hmm. okay. So pick one of those tunnels that you're investigating. No, I'm looking for it's my nanobot. Why not? Specific. I'm looking for my nanobot. If you're specific <laughs> with a 19, you could actually figure yeah. something out. Where Sorry, over happens. here are you looking? Oh, that's weird. I'm looking for my nanobot over there. In there? 4A? Huh? Yes. There? Oh, yes. Okay, there. Gotcha. So, do this thing. And he got a 19. That's me. Oh, I love that. I was wondering what that was. Okay. You're over there. Who else is over there with Fedora 2? Most there? likely the, the big robot lady. I thought you were there too. No, I'm telling you to go with God. Yeah, I'm going. I'm just saying I thought the shark's used to I am always with you. Oh. Hey, I'm not Heinrich. I'm or actually. For me. Well, actually, I'm trying to figure this out is where I want to play. What this uh, sounds like again. So, why, but, yeah, why is there a J and an M on computer? Just give him a play. Oh, that's right. But I'm a W and there's no L. There's so a W. A shark dude, are you, so are like, you? Why am I last name when there's no L in use? It's okay. Because maybe there will be an L in use. Uh, okay. <laughs> Where are, you? Who you are. okay. Are you with us? Um, uh, yeah, I'll go with the big metal people, I guess. Uh, are there two J's or something? I've got a yeah, just take that in the way, because that, 
It makes it confusing. It makes it feel like there's three people, though. Four, right? No, it's, yeah. it's right. you, me, and Tony. Oh, I see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, where's everybody else going? Okay. I was confused, too. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going far, right? <laughs> Wait until I flip that W upside down. And I got a 24 um, on my first step. Alright, hold on. So I'm trying to figure out everybody's going first before I'll, we are. Right. I'll go with soul because I'm fire resistant, so we'll give that a try. And where is soul I'm going? Fire, I got fire Far right. runes, so. Yep. Over here, right there? Yep. Okay. And that's where I'm going to. That's where you're going. That's where you're going. Oh, pencil. And that's where her... I love that we are social distancing by five feet. <laughs> <laughs> There's enough actually for three people to investigate each one of the tunnels. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's enough. Did the rest of the three of you want to go up there? I was going with the other fire people because I have fire too. All right. Well. I also have fire. <laughs> are you going over there too, fire person? <laughs> We're just bearing all the flame I mean, here. I can light up my sword. Hey, we, we can bring all the fire. Take all the firepower. Get the fire nation. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> the fire nation. Or you two could split off and go investigate up here. You can do that as well. Probably, it's up to you. I'm just trying to think what Grabnar would do at this point. Grabnar is not a people person. He would flip the right. If he sees a whole bunch of people going this way and a whole bunch of people going that way. That's right. Yeah, he'd go. Roll a d6. He'd go straight. He'd bum rush the middle hallway by himself, and then set off an atomic bomb. All right. What about Red? Where is the no. treasure can, most can likely to be? That's where Red's gonna go. Where is their treasure? Uh, I did roll perception too. Are there That's only two paths? There, there are three. three. Oh, there are three. So One me and Quinn right. and Chuck and Casey, I think, are going towards the right, and then Ronnie's going north in the middle path. With no backup. <laughs> With no backup Correct. so far. He we'll could use some I am the backup. He might he, accidentally kill his backup. I see it. So. A room that was worth I mean, that kind of goes for anybody. Right, so. right the I mean, gold. That's, that's where I was thinking the treasure right. was going to be. does look like gold. Yeah, the treasure's up there. All right, so now that I got that part done, let's go ahead and start with two here, since that's numerical order. So that would be what, Soul, Heavy Metal, yep. Ari, and who was yours, Casey? Asami. Asami. All right. Now, what did you get on your rolls? 16. Five. <laughs> go 24. 24. All right. I have no perception skills. I'm mostly a melee fighter in this game. Just very true. <laughs> melee plus some blood magic. And she just showed it to me. Yeah. So, so what you see here is a long tunnel. And through this tunnel, you start seeing little alcoves here. Which appear to be these giant statues. Yeah. Are, are they so friendly looking or there's less? There's nine friendly statues. Hmm? Are they friendly or not friendly looking? Well, from where you're saying that right here, at this angle here, if you guys want to go investigate here a little bit further, like all the way in, you guys can if you like. Onward and upward. But from where you're staying at the kind of looking down the hall there. Okay, down that uh, hallway, you can see that there's these statues that are lined up, ending with a statue at the very end. It looks like a shark. And of course, you got the canyon above you and everything, which is kind of blocking your view because of the canyon walls. But they're like little alcoves. It's a bit of a bottleneck over there, isn't it? It is because you have to go single file. Yeah. Oh, go first. Mm. He's going first. I guess I'll go second. I'll bring up the rear. Oh, you oh, can wait. make another perception if you like. Wee. Two. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Look where right. Yes, it looks like a radio station. W K C Q. Yes. 
Oh, that was a, not a good roll. Uh, 16 again. Alright, to help, since you guys are doing group, just have one person roll. Oh, okay. And then, actually, have one person roll with advantage, because you got four people looking, so. I got a 19. Yeah. Well, there's our advantage. <laughs> yeah. So we'll do that for the group ones. For the others as well, we'll do that. Okay. So we'll take the person who has the highest perception or whatever uh, roll and then just roll with advantage. Okay? Alright. So, anyways, what you see next are these statues. And some of them worn down. Oh, wait. We had W and C swapped, I think. Because I was going to go second oh. and then Chuck was going to go last, I think. Oh, okay. Let me switch that down. Yeah. It's important. His, it, it may or may be not be important. important. See. I mean, if something happens, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So as you're passing through here, you see these statues. They're being they're, they're depicted of various um, individuals. Now, it's hard to tell exactly what they are because of the age of them, and of course, you know, the elements have just eroded the stone statues. But from what you can tell, mostly of it, you see various archetypes. You see what appears to be like a warrior, okay? And then you see one uh, that looks to be more like a uh, priest, and then like a wizard, sorcerer, you know? And you see these different archetypes as you walk through here. Hmm. So nine so statues, nine to... archetypes. Skyrim, pray before the one that you think you are. Right? That's what I was about to say. Maybe we need to shove the statues off the pedestals and then stand on the ones that we think represent us. Is there any robots? That's probably not what's happening, but you know. <laughs> it is now. I'm just kidding. Alright, try to check And actually... Roll for initiative. You... Who got the 20 sometime? Or who got the highest Chuck perception? Did. Chuck? Yeah. Man, you had those amazing cybernetic eyes. What did I get? Seeing stuff in the back. Yeah. Because 20 feet ahead of you, Chuck, <laughs> you notice that there is a shiny object on that statue at the very end. It's just kind of hanging 20. there. Look it's at a it. medallion. Oh, Everyone right holds up their a fire to see if they can see the shiny thing. The oh, guy in the back can see it. I should probably mention this as well. So, what you guys are seeing also right now, um, since you guys were where this cliffs, this is the cliff side. It's kind of open area, so you do have sunlight pouring in right now. So, just kind of give you guys a heads up there. Okay. So, is there sunlight in this passageway that we are currently mm -hmm. in? Yeah, because you guys are just in the middle of a cliff. Okay. You're kind of in a, what's been cut out. So yeah, there's sky and trees above you and everything. Mm -hmm. But a carefully directed light could still reflect off of something shiny. Correct. But anyways, you spot that heavy metal. I'll go look at it. Alright. He gonna duck between us, I guess? Yeah, I'm gonna take, take over and the lead. Yep, he's gonna go right there. He's like... Stand back, everyone. I got this. Yep. I see something that you yes. don't. So I'm going to go look at it. <sighs> He's like, it's over there. Where? <laughs> there. Where? I don't see it. Psh. That's why I'm going to look at it. Yeah. All right. And what you see, sir? You, know, you see a golden medallion. And mm -hmm. on the medallion, etched into it, appears to be a six-point star. And then inside of the six point star is an uh, I. Not the letter. Ha <laughs> 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 ha, got ahead of you on that one. Lol. <laughs> Where do we find the one that has a U? <laughs> Not the letter, the sheep. <laughs> oh my. Alright, well, I'm going to hold on to this for a minute. Uh, oi! <laughs> when you find O, you got I-O-U. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> the greatest treasure ever, I owe you. <laughs> well, yeah, you can cash it in for anything, right? <laughs> what are you doing to medallion, sir? I'm putting it away to hold on for a minute. Pocket, Pocket it. Pocket right on your sheet. Pocket okay. in. I am medallion. All right. What we got? Number three over here. Ah, something else I'm going to show you guys too as you're walking around and you see this. Right here. G, G, G. Mm -hmm. The game. Gorge. Gargoyles. Oh. Yeah. Stone gargoyles at the tops. It's Goliath. Which? We don't burn either. <laughs> I feel that's, that's important to note. That's very important. <laughs> yeah. Good thing we brought all these fire people. But I have fire and lightning, and that does not affect stone. You uh, case. you don't. You feel like you're being watched. <laughs> this feels like a Scooby Doo episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> There are like eyes in the statues. That <laughs> 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 Motley Crew. That Motley Crew. I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for that Motley Crew. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help that. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Convergence. If you did, be sure to head on over to our website at www.saturdaynightgamingllc.com and check out some of our other cool games. Also, make sure to like, share, and subscribe on all of our social media platforms. I hope you have a fantastic week, and until next time, this is Laura Hibbard with Saturday Night Gaming signing off.